Are y'all here ready to meet Mary? So let's see here. Let me just, uh, I had a pop up there. Anyway, um, hey, Nancy. Hey, Shirley. Anybody else lurking here? I know that we have, there is an auction going on right now, but uh, uh, we're just going to go with ours and, and uh, all this. I've had Mary scheduled to be here for a, a week. So anyway, so we're going to talk to Mary and find out about what she loves about jewelry, why she does jewelry and all that. So if you guys have any questions, hey, Bella. Oh, I, um, Beth, I was going to say, wait, I know that name. So hey, Blandine, how are you? So if you have any questions, make sure that you do it like that before you ask it. Put double question marks in front of it. Or do at my name, Cindy. That way I don't miss it. At my name, Cindy Loves Jewelry. There we go. Like this. Let's see. I don't know if that'll show up for y'all. Mm. There. Okay. If you do it like that, then it oranges it out and I see it. So, But we're going to talk to uh, Mary. And I'm fixing to uh, show y'all Mary. And we're going to get going. And I keep putting my hands over my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, so, um, you guys all know Mary. There's Mary. Uh, she is, one of the, yeah, one of the admins over at Texas Gal Treasure Lovers, and she has S and R, S and R treasures, S and R okay. treasures on eBay, and Vintage by S and R on Etsy. Okay, those links are in the uh, description. Also, you have Poshmark. And yes. what is I have a closet on Poshmark with about six things in it. <laughs> hey, I've got you beat. I've got 11. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with Poshmark. So there's Juanita Pappert. Hi, Juanita. I don't think you've ever been on my channel before. You must be a friend of Mary's. One of, so, my one of your friends. So, <laughs> so uh, we like to start this. This is, I, I call this Love and Jewelry. Uh, and this is my second episode, and we just like to ask Mary some questions about why why jewelry, you know, because there's so many things out there. Mary's Mary fanatics, so hi there, I am. Uh, but uh, we're going to just start out. I have a few questions. If y'all want to ask uh, Mary, there's Sherry, Sherry Gall. Hey Sherry, welcome, and thank you for subscribing earlier. So. You learn a lot from Mary every single day. Juanita, are, is Juanita in the group or is she just one of your friends on Facebook? Um, she uh, was a lifeguard with me over in, an, or, I'm sorry, an admin with me over in another group. And uh, we became friends from that. So she's she's cool. in the thrifting and reselling business, but not in the, not in the jewelry. She doesn't focus on jewelry, no. Okay. So, uh, well, if you guys don't know me, I'm Cindy Loves Jewelry. I do auctions on this channel every other week. I have Facebook. I'm an admin too over at Texas Loves Texas Loves Texas Jewelry Lovers, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers. Anyway, get it spit out, Cindy. <laughs> and I also have eBay, Etsy, and Posh, but I, I sell most of my jewelry online like this. So. So anyway, so, but uh, if you have a question, be sure, hey, Debbie Porter, welcome, be sure and uh, uh, put question marks and ask because man, that's what, what we're here for, to learn more about Mary and to learn more about why <laughs> Mary likes jewelry, why Mary loves jewelry. So anyway, so Mary, I know you answered these questions and sent them to me, but we're going to let you answer them <laughs> for the throat. <laughs> So anyway, so, um, so can you tell us what is your earliest jewelry memory? memory? What is the earliest um, thing that you remember about jewelry? The earliest thing I remember about jewelry is my mom had in the top drawer of her dresser a jewelry box. And she would just let me go in there and go through it and play and put her rings on and all that, look at things and and a lot of it was my grandmother's jewelry. Uh, some of it I own now. <laughs> but um, that really started my love for jewelry, very young age. I, mu I must have been a toddler when I started doing that. I remember doing the same thing. Uh, 
only I was a little bit older. I was about 10 and I would, I would go through my mom's jewelry box and say, when you die, do I get this? When you die, do I get this? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So now I have a niece who's like 28 and she'll, she'll say when granny's gone, I'm getting this. And I, I tell her back off sis. I've done spoke for that a long time ago. So, <laughs> okay. so what do you think is your favorite kind of jewelry, your favorite style, or I use the word genre, but that, that's really, um, what is your favorite category of jewelry? I mean, well, you may know I like big rings. <laughs> yeah. I love big rings. I always wear big rings. I have quite a few big rings. I have a collection of big rings sitting right here. I I just love big cocktail rings so that when you pick up your hand, everybody goes, ooh. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I don't know. I just, I, I like the way they feel on my hands and I, I think they're beautiful. I've just always been a fan, but I also collect um, pins and that started with not really so much brooches although I have a couple but I collect you know like um, like these kinds of pins like Yosemite Sam <laughs> oh pins yeah. like that you know so I have a whole collection of those I have a collection of military pins and um, I, I, I like big earrings too I like my earrings to hang so yeah. Those are my thing. Those are your thing. Those are my thing. And I'm kind of more into the like Art Nouveau, South, Southwest and Boho kind of look. Yeah. Y'all oh, y'all can't see me anyway. I was gonna say if you see me rubbing my eyes, it's because uh, my allergies are going real good. So um I think we covered that. Do you like gold tone or silver tone best? Uh mostly silver. Um, some of the stuff I have is gold, but mostly, yeah, uh, mostly I like silver. <laughs> yeah. See, I do too. And the only thing I own that is, uh, gold tone is my wedding rings. So anyways. yeah, I have, I have gold wedding rings and everything else on my hands is silver. So <laughs> would you classify yourself as a collector, a reseller or both? Uh, mostly I'm a reseller because my, my theory is the jewelry that I have just makes me feel good and it brings me a lot of joy. Mostly my jewelry that I keep has a memory attached to it. Like it was my grandmother's or it was something my mother gave me, or it means something as part of my family legacy and history or something like that. But, um, I, I, so I, I love to kind of, I love to offer that to other people, you know, even if it's just that it's shiny and blingy and they look at it and they go, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it to whatever. I just like to pass that along. So mostly I am a reseller, but I won't deny a piece that screams for me to hoard it, <laughs> which is how I got these earrings. <laughs> my problem is hoarding, <laughs> so, but I do. I do. I, I'm like you. I get a lot of joy out of selling pieces that I know that are. I've done the auctions like I've done them since the middle of the summer. I've started learning what people like. And so as I go through jewelry, when I'm buying it, I look at say, oh, man, so and so would like that. I'm, I maybe and sometimes I've even been known to email them privately and say, hey, I got a special piece that I think you might like. And uh, sometimes they buy it, sometimes they don't, and it's okay. And then sometimes they decide later and wait and buy it when I put it up for auction. So mm -hmm. anyway, so I love the reselling concept because it's like, you know, we can't keep everything because then we turn into hoarders that end up on TV and, yeah. you know, pass at us and make fun of us. So anyway, and uh, uh, anybody that's watched my show, in fact, anybody that's watched my channel, I think I've mentioned this before that um i had a great aunt that was a hoarder i mean like she was tv worthy and she ended up dying in a house fire because she couldn't get out because she hoarded oh so that's sad she just had to pass through her house and she ended up dying because she couldn't get out from smoke inhalation so i do not want to turn into that but right now because i got in a lot of shipping supplies mm -hmm. <laughs> 
because I mean, we're coming into the, this is the busy season for resellers. So I got in a bunch of shipping supplies. So I just have a, a path to my desk. <laughs> Well, my husband and I just spent a year living in an RV. We decided to make the move to a more a tiny lifestyle, basically. So we downsized and got rid of most of our stuff and moved into this 27-foot RV, which now needs work. So we're, we're temporarily in a house again while we help the homeowner fix up the house from past renter's damage and get our RV situation fixed again. So I can't really be too much of a hoarder. I can't really have big collections of anything, but jewelry is nice and small. So I can fit like a good collection of jewelry in a shoe box, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. Uh, I never told you this, Mary, but I've lived in, uh, I've lived in travel trailers two times. So. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we loved it. We loved it. I can't wait to get back to it. I really miss it. I mean, living in a house, just it's too much space for me. It's too big. I liked the little cozy. See, uh, we we moved here a year ago and I miss my great big house. I had a huge house. I miss it. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, but w when I went to college, my parents bought a travel trailer for me to live in. They paid for the trailer and I just had to pay the lot rent. Oh, nice. And then when and i lived in it the whole two years i was in college and it was a 35 foot fifth wheel and then when david and i before our boys were born we traveled and he worked in the nuclear plant business and we done uh uh done that so we we lived in a trailer then so okay let's get back to mary we're not talking about cindy today <laughs> so um what is your favorite pieces? What I mean, let's say favorite piece if you can, if not pieces. So, what is your favorite? One favorite. You can show it if you want. Or two, um, or I think three. I this one. <laughs> I I don't wear it very often. I did wear it to my daughter's wedding. I have pictures of me in my purple dress with my. It's my grandmother's brooch and it was, I don't know. Now this camera focuses on faces. So I have a hard time getting a good focus. Put your hand behind it. Put your hand behind it. Like that. And it'll block. Yeah. It, it blocks your face and it just hold it still for just a minute. It's uh, unmarked and it's probably glass, you know, just glass rhinestones, but right. it, it's my favorite. I've it had this for, I, I probably got this 30 years ago and I've had it and I'm going to die with it. <laughs> hey, Veronica, guys, the new ones that's come in, if y'all have any questions, be sure and ask them in the chat and we'll, we'll get around to them. So, so that is beautiful. And I remember seeing you in your purple at your daughter's wedding. I remember those pictures. So well, now I'll go back and look there. for the jewelry yeah. on it. So. And my mother recognized it right when I walked up and she saw me that it was her, it was her mother's brooch and she recognized it. Right. So that meant a lot to me too. <laughs> so, so uh, where do you get most of your jewelry? Do you thrift it? Do you online it? Do you yard sell it? Where do you get most of your jewelry? I, I mug people on the street. You no, know. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't do that. Um, <laughs> I just go up to people hey, in the store and go, give me a ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, mostly, well, my mother-in-law uh, gave me 14 shoe boxes full of costume, vintage and antique, mostly costume jewelry and some fine jewelry. And I have, it's been a bear to go through it all. I have a tiny fraction of it listed for sale. But um, other than that, we go to estate sales, yard sales, and sometimes thrift stores. Thrift stores are kind of, for me, it's hard to find good quality pieces that aren't already priced up so that right. you can make there's a profit. There's no margin for profit, yeah. Yeah, there's just no profit. So, so do you, I mean, and, and this is like maybe an odd question. Do you know where your mother-in-law got all of that? Was it? family jewelry or was it stuff I do. um she's uh had a boyfriend for 20 years his first wife died suddenly 
and she was a collector of all sorts of things and he's held on to it for a long time but now he's at the stage in his life where he needs to let that go so they gave me all of her Murano glass and all of this jewelry and all this stuff that she collected for a long time and yeah. told me I could sell it all. So that's cool. Uh, Debbie Porter's asking, do you sell anything besides jewelry? Oh goodness. Yes. <laughs> I have a problem with um, going to estate sales and thrift stores, and yard sales and seeing pretty things and, and having them not, jump into my cart and my wallet jump out and pay for it before I can stop it. So I have all sorts of things. Most of the stuff we sell is vintage. Um, I haven't really gotten into clothes yet, although I have a few t-shirts and I've sold a couple of pair of Chuck's uh, Converse sneakers because I have a, an addiction <laughs> problem to those sneakers. But um, most of the stuff we sell is vintage and it's like pottery and brass and um knickknacks and vases and old uh oh gosh we have old decanters and uh i'm getting ready to list my father's microscope from when he was a little boy so it's probably from the 1940s wow so things like that so see i sell those kind of things too but i don't sell them online i sell them in my booth so Anyway, guys, you got questions for Mary? Questions for Mary? I've still got a bunch. So, uh, what do you think is your best find? Hey, Robin. My best find so far, well, I mean, there may be something hiding in those 14 shoe boxes that I haven't gone through yet, but my best find is either the Nettie Rosenstein uh, rhinestone flower brooch that I have listed, or it's this set here, which is 10 karat gold. I haven't gotten it appraised yet. It's just marked AE, so I don't know if that's anybody in particular, but it's a, a pendant, like a slide pendant. Let's see if I can do this again. It's a slide pendant, and then it has matching earrings. And we figured out just by the weight alone for the gold, it should be a $250 sale at least. Right. So I'm hoping to get even more for them. Oh. Did you show them? And if you did, I missed it. Oh, you didn't see it? <laughs> no, I didn't see it. I was typing in, asking, answering a question. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a slide pendant. And then it has earrings okay. exactly the same pierced earrings. So mm, those those are nice. Um, yeah, I'm excited about them. Okay. I'm, I'm. This is a fun question. I'm still looking for that ten thousand dollar piece that I have hidden somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I haven't found it yet. But I don't know if some of y'all may watch Pudgy Pickers. She always when she pulls out jewelry and shows it, she's like, "Oh, I found my million dollar jewelry piece." So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here is uh, Davy Porter has a question that says, What is your best sale? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, my best sale ended up in a really unhappy, uh, really unwanted return. <laughs> but um, boy, I can't even think of well I actually my most exciting sale which may may not have been my my highest priced but uh, we went to the local flea market here and uh, inside are a lot of people that set up every week so there are uh, vendors of things but outside there are tables for like if you just want to have a yard sale but you don't want to do it in your yard you can do it there where all the traffic is and this guy was selling all this stuff and I got a few things really cheap and I got a, a metal um, Magnum PI Tom Selleck bed tray from the 1980s, I guess. That was probably, it probably sold for about $3. And I sold it on eBay for $83. Cool. It's just, it's just one of those cheap little, you know, those little metal bed yeah. trays. Those little cheap, but you just, you can't find them that you know, anymore. So somebody, I sold it within like a month. I was so excited. 
when my husband saw it listed, he said, there is no way anybody's going to pay that much money. And I said, watch. <laughs> and, and yeah, people wanted it. Okay. Um, let's see. Juanita asked, what is the biggest surprise while researching a piece of jewelry or something that you were selling? So what, while you were researching something, what was the biggest surprise you came across about it? Biggest surprise? You have to ask me the hard questions, Nita. <laughs> um, I actually, I think the biggest surprise was that Nettie Rosenstein piece because costume jewelry uh, to me sells for, you know, it doesn't get big money. I mean, it get it sells well, but it's like a twenty dollar piece, a forty dollar piece, and um, and uh, I learned that she made high end costume jewelry and that it goes for a lot more money. So I actually put it up for auction um, for 200 and something, but it didn't get any looks. It's listed now for 130, I think. So that was my biggest surprise was like, this pin is worth that much money. <laughs> okay. That's, that was my biggest surprise for jewelry. Okay, Cherry Berry wants to know, what actress or famous person do you think their jewelry style is your taste? Is the same as your taste? Um, boy, the name that pops in my head first is Stevie Nicks, but I don't even know if she wears jewelry. I just kind of relate to her style a lot, even though I'm wearing a Goonies t-shirt, not <laughs> not that kind of style. But uh, she's kind of the the style that I that I relate to the most. So, hi Angela. Angela says she had she made it. She had customers. Oh, Angela. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Juanita, ask again, what are your top three resources for ID and jewelry? Uh, the Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers Group. Uh, they're a great fallback. If I can't figure it out on my own, uh, there are people in that group that just seem, we have a couple of people that are walking encyclopedias, it seems like. I ask them a question, and they're like, oh, I know that. <laughs> but uh, online, um online i i really just do kind of a simple search of the of the mark and a, you know a google search an ebay search and see what if i can connect it that way and uh then i do have a couple of sites that i i have bookmarked that have a lot of um marks in them and we have a jewelry marks photo album in within texas gals jewelry lovers group that has a lot of of identified marks so so those are that's how i do it cherry berry yes and i will post i will post the link to it it's a uh, texas gal jewelry lovers facebook group so uh it's margaret's group and she probably has a link to it on her channel i don't know if you watch margaret or not on texas gal jewelry lovers but Let's see. I I was gonna share this just because uh, she asked it. Uh, Juanita, I my two sites that are my go-to sites is one of them is called Illusions Jewelry, That's a good and one. Uh, it breaks it down alphabetically the things. And then I have one that is not really extensive, but it helps with a lot of the little dangle things, and it's just called Jewelry Dangles and uh and it just identifies those little pieces that hang down on the backs of jewelry and stuff and it's called a group called jewelry dangles and if you're in texas gal i've put those links in the files so um anyway um so i'm going to ask you another question mm -hmm. uh do 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 you have a YouTube channel, and if you do, what do you put on your YouTube channel? I do. My YouTube channel is called Thar She Thrifts, T H A R, like a pirate. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of in limbo right now. Originally, it was going to be about our life as nomadic resellers traveling across the United States and our RV and buying and selling. But um, we ended up being surprised by some of the problems that our RV was having and decided that we'd better stay in Florida for a little while. So um, I, I wasn't really sure which direction to take it in, but I think I figured out what I'm going to do, I think. 
<laughs> make an announcement once I'm sure. I don't want to say anything yet, but there's the there's the group link, and I typed in her username on YouTube, Darcy Thrift. Okay, yeah. so what do you think that the people in the jewelry community would be most surprised to learn about you? <laughs> you mean that I can repeat, right? <laughs> yeah, that you can repeat. <laughs> that is G-rated. That won't get my won't get my channel flagged. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, I was never that wild, so I think okay. people would be surprised to know that I was a bodybuilder in my twenties. Cool. Yeah. I am actually really surprised that to yeah. learn that I have I never was heard a bodybuilder. You and a I was I was fairly big and a little scary. I have stories, <laughs> but then I got sick. So I don't, well, then I got in a car accident and I had to not work out for a year. And then I was, I got sick after that. So do I you, oh, okay. Do you think that your car accident triggered your autoimmune disease? Um, I think it had something to do with it, but uh, I, I think the trauma. Yeah. I, I think the trauma. <laughs> A lot of times trauma does trigger things yeah. like that. So it was uh, a 90 yeah. mile an hour head on collision and I was driving a car that I should have died in. Oh, so wow. I was very, very lucky. It wasn't my fault. I just got to say that I was innocent. <laughs> it mm -hmm. was the other guy's fault. Oh. Um, so, uh, I have, I, look, I can think of questions all day long. So, but, uh, if you had to pick a favorite designer or maker, who do you think it would be besides Nettie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, right? She's that stuff's just amazing. Um, boy, it's hard to say because there are, I, I, I do like the Napier stuff. Okay. Um, but I'm really more, like well a lot of the napier stuff is kind of glittery i i like glittery and shiny and colorful and um, you like, are you a rhinestone girl i love rhinestones i love rhinestones especially if they're all colorful or if there's a lot of them like in that netty pen that i keep mentioning you know it, it's it's you I, to, I uh you need to watch the video i done the other night with roland mike so i was on roland mike's show and uh, I brought out my hoard and showed oh. a bunch of the rhinestones. So anyway, um, so did you buy the Napier book when it was I on did. the? Okay. Yep. And that book does it overwhelm you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, daily life overwhelms me, so <laughs> it's not that, that big of a stretch. But that book scares the, it's the jeepers out of me, big, and it's it's very heavy. You have yours. <laughs> so, I have this book here. This, uh, and I know they can't see the Monet book, uh -huh. and it's a lot more user friendly. And I wish they'd have done the Napier book more like this because it's it's more hand manageable. That that other book, it is so heavy. Hey, Darlene Buckland, welcome. Very very heavy book, but it's so. so detailed it's got so much information in it i mean the yeah. first time i saw the book i i only bought the book because i read an article about the best uh resource books for jewelry sellers and collectors and that was one of the books that was mentioned and so i decided i was going to get it and when i got it i was blown away i mean it has history in there it has pictures it has all of the marks and and what years all of the marks i mean it's just it's an amazing book it's heavy as heck but it's an amazing book <laughs> for somebody that has been part of the publishing world and i have i i've y'all we've talked about the fact that i have a couple of books out and i've book reviewed for nine years that book absolutely just intimidates me i just have not even i've not even tried to look at the dvd that came with it either so oh, anyway i loved it i loved so, it i think it's a great uh, let's see okay i saw a really good question here okay cherry berry says what seems to be the most requested jewelry at the moment what do you think people are looking to buy right now 
Well, right now the trend is long, uh, very long dangly earrings, layered necklaces, long layered necklaces, and uh, big rings are coming back in style. So I've found that big and glitzy, that kind of stuff is selling. Most of my sales are actually brooches because they're coming back in style too. I sell so, lots of brooches. I sell hmm. lots of brooches in my auctions, but I sell lots of brooches. So look at this big honking ring. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's, it looks like a pineapple. <laughs> yeah. It's really, it's really weird. Uh, I have a bunch of big, huge rings. So, uh, do, 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 my favorite. And I want to add, too, people are buying those um, brooches at full price. So, these aren't people that are recycling them or turning them into bridal bouquets. They're wearing them or collecting them. So, I think the brooches are coming back. Right. Uh, Fa your favorite is Rosemary to you. Select uh, on the second. Okay. Hold on, Mary. You're froze up. There. There you go. Okay. okay. <laughs> there. I had to un go off of you and come back. So. Okay. Notice where, do you notice jewelry sales spiking during a certain time of the year? Yes. It spikes around Christmas time. And around Valentine's Day, and that's when that's when it spikes the most. Right now, I'm selling a lot more jewelry than I usually sell. Um, jewelry is the one thing, one one of the very few things that you can give somebody that's old and used and have it be appreciated, and you can feel good about giving it as a gift. Look, I just got you this brooch right. from 1930, and you know, and the gift recipient is excited. But if you say, "Look, I got you," a, you know, like I got you a uh, pair of socks from 1930. <laughs> it's just not the same, you know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, hey, Jude, there's Jude Direct. She's in our group. She's Jude Bascom in our group. So, oh, okay. Anyway, yeah. um, the uh, so um, this is not like really jewelry related. But it is reselling related. So um, one of the things that I, I mean, like, I won't say I talk to Mary every day, but I think I can I consider her a friend and I consider that I know a little bit about her and I know that she likes T-shirts. Mm -hmm. So you have like a wish list that you hope you find a certain T-shirt to resell. Is there a oh. certain T-shirt you want to find yeah. or T-shirts? There is a Prince t-shirt prince the the artist yeah um there is a a prince concert t-shirt that i would love to get my hands on it's very rare i don't know what i would do with it once i got it because i'd want to keep it I, I i would lose weight to fit into that shirt but it's also worth hundreds of dollars so i'd kind of want to sell it too but i would love to get my hands on that shirt so Juanita wants to know, do you have a favorite customer service story with your sales? Actually, I do. <laughs> I sold, uh, when I was going through a bunch of the stuff that my mother-in-law uh, gave me, I, I came across this little silver thing. It was round and it was very short. And then it had a flat tip on the end and I couldn't figure out what it was. And in asking other resellers, I found out it was an antique toothpick. It was from before the days when they had disposable toothpicks and men would just carry these around with them. They'd eat and then they'd pick the food out of their teeth and then they'd <laughs> put, slip it back in and put it back in their pocket. Um, and yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, so I, I listed it for sale and took a best offer on it. I think I sold it for about 40 or $50. And the gentleman who bought it was so thrilled. He sent me a picture of his entire collection. He collects these old antique toothpicks. And he was so excited to have it. Sent me a picture of it. And we talked about it for a while and about his collection. It was really fun. It was, it was nice getting to kind of touch base with somebody. I just had another customer touch base with me over some little postcards I sold him about how, how excited he was to have those. So, oh. That is cool. Yeah. I, 
I can't remember who it was that posted not recently posted. I don't know if it was just on Facebook or if it was in one of the groups I'm in posted something about some, they sold somebody something and the, the customer contacted them so excited because the item they sold them was the customers originally. Oh, wow. it had been lost. And somehow they ended up, they had been searching to find one like it. And it ended up being the exact same one they had. They wow. had a known. So anyway. I, so I, I search it. eBay all the time for family history things. I bought a yearbook that my grandfather did the artwork on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Hey, Tiki. So anyway, yeah, I, I had, I don't ever do that. And I don't even think about that's not a place I think about. So anyway, oh, Russ is watching the store and you're staying here. So <laughs> hey, that's cool. Thanks Russ. So, thanks, Russ. Everybody. Yeah, says, Russ. Anybody got any more questions? So um, do you, what is one of the things that frustrates you the most about the online platforms for selling? What, what do you think one of the things that frustrates you the most? Um, the, the listing process can, can get frustrating for me. Um, researching can be a little frustrating, especially when I'm not finding anything and I can't figure out, you know, the value. I mean, sometimes when you can't find something, it's because it's not really worth that much. Other times when you can't find something, it's because it's worth a lot because there aren't very many of them. So that's frustrating is trying to figure out it, are, are there not many of these because nobody wants them or are there not many of these because there just aren't very many of these <laughs> so that's that's kind of my most frustrating um uh i have some frustrations with ebay right now about their glitches but this is probably the wrong time to go into that so <laughs> yeah ebay, ebay kind of frustrates everybody so uh david porter is asking how will you handle the shipping while you're living on the road, do you have to have a constant address to ship from? Uh, some states actually, well, you do have to have, everybody has to have a permanent address. You can't just travel on the road and say this week, my address is Montana. Next week, my address is going to be, you know, some other state. Um, everybody has to have a permanent one. So there are three states, it's Texas, Florida, and I think Colorado that allows anybody to have a permanent address there um, for a certain fee a year, like $200 a year. And what it is, is basically you just get a mailbox and that's, that's your address. So you, um, you can send mail with that return address. You can get mail there. You can, you know, you can use it to get your driver's license. You can, it's, it's your permanent address. So um, you have to have that. But then on the way, I can ship from anywhere and then I can have it, you know, if somebody wants to return something, it can go to my mother's or my brother's or my son's house or any of my daughter's or, or if I'm staying in one place long enough, it can, it can go right to the campsite that we're staying at. So. Okay. Uh, my, sky, my sky watch, which her name is Robin. Um, uh, she wants to know how do you package your jewelry that you sell? So uh, got this quite a bit. That depends on what it is. If it's a ten dollar piece, that's you know, um, n you know, nothing really special. Um, I just slip them into. I get these little bubble wrap bags, and I slip them in there, and I roll it up. So it's got a nice thick padding and then I put it in a padded envelope, and mail it out for things that people pay more money on. I like to put a little more attention and sometimes I'll put it in um, one of those little uh, like net bags, you know, that you get at weddings and stuff you know? <laughs> um, or, or sometimes I'll put it in a box and then I slip the box into a padded mailer. So it's always two dollars and sixty six cents. Yes. One of those. Sometimes I'll put it in one of those, you know, if, it, if they're paying more money, I like to give a little more attention to the presentation of it. So, yeah. So when people open something that they've bought from me, they have, they're 
what I call the goodie bag. This is the goodie bag. Your extras that I send. I send everybody extras. Even my eBay buyers, I send extras. And if you start, if you ever go and read my actual uh, feedbacks, nearly everybody, a lot of people mention the fact that they're always surprised that they have extras. So oh, wow. So listen, when you've got jewelry out the wazoo, you got to get rid of it somehow. Yeah. So, they want to know says your jewelry photos are always so crisp use a camera i use my cell phone camera i just have an android um androids are kind of notorious for not having the best cameras but mine has a a pretty good camera it was it's the salesman said it's the best that they have <laughs> um but uh i i just use my cell phone and then um if I have to brighten it up or crisp it up a little bit, I'll do that just editing it. But I tried having a digital SLR camera, but it was so heavy that it made my hands hurt and it made my neck hurt from the strap pulling on it. So I, I had to sell that off and I just have to use these little light cameras. I just, I just use my phone. So I um, have run into recently, I had dropped my phone in the toilet and so my motorola and i've always had samsung's until i got my motorola and dave dave had a motorola uh, samsung that died and so with his brain injury i gave him my old samsung and i got this motorola then i dropped it in the toilet so i just bought an lg mm -hmm. online yard sale and the pictures were horrible i wouldn't even take pictures with it so anyway so but then the other day when i dropped my motorola in the toilet it was in a case and it corrupted the sim card but my phone is okay so mm -hmm. now i put my new sim card in this and so it's working real good oh, you good. just bought a pixel that has a great camera much better than your camera so a pixel is that a brand a phone brand pixel um, yeah yeah that's a, i never heard of i think they're new i think it's a new thing i've I've thought about getting an iphone that i won't you know, use as a phone, but I just use as a camera because they have really good cameras on them. But yeah. I, just, yeah. I have an iPhone that uh, is actually a four and I don't have a charger for it to charge it up. So, okay, I'm new to this jewelry group. How do I find all of those that sell jewelry linked to our stores? Okay, in the in the uh, Texas Gal Lovers, there is on the left hand, if you're looking at your computer, if you're looking at it on a computer, there's a, a on the left hand side, there's files and there's a file there that's called uh, eBay that labeled our stores, uh, yeah. Texas Gal Lovers stores and stuff like that. We have also, one for eBay and Etsy stores, one for YouTube channels and one for like Pinterest and uh, social also, media. Cherry Berry, I will uh uh I will go get the link and put it up. We have what's called Texas Gal Traders. I can't even remember if I'm saying it right, but people list jewelry and sell it there too. Texas Gal and we Texas that's where we put Texas our auctions at. <laughs> Texas Gal see, I'm horrible with names. I, I'm just like uh, I know I just have my links and I anyway there we go here that last message came out crazy posted crazy here this one also is a place where people sell jewelry and uh, I've listed some jewelry there Mary I've not yet so mm -hmm. yeah sure. jewelry through there yeah Good pixel. hey Babs how let me ask Babsy right quick I know this is this is Mary's show but how is your daughter? Her daughter got real sick last night while we were having auctions. Oh. How is your daughter? And Babsy's in the group. She's Barbara Urban. I think she goes by Babsy there too. So, mm -hmm. so, so, you're welcome. So, anybody got any more questions for Mary? We're we're about forty five minutes, and I I said I wanted to keep it right around forty five to fifty minutes. Her husband will be home soon. She mm -hmm. she'll have. 
change her hat to wife my, mode. My dog will start barking like crazy. <laughs> she goes a little crazy. I'm surprised yeah. nobody has asked me what's this fuzzy thing over my shoulder. This is Humperdinck. <laughs> Humperdinck. That's her friend. As a friend. My gigantic gorilla that I can't figure out how to ship yet. I'm sure I'll figure it out some way. He doesn't collapse, so he's stiff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But he sits at our dining room table and keeps us company. The, the people, I bet the people that walk by your house, if you have a lot of foot traffic by and they can see you inside, probably think, man, that's a hairy man that lives in that house. <laughs> well, I posted a picture on my Instagram account of him sitting at the dinner table. <laughs> he is as big as I am. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit taller, but yeah, he's got me on size. His head's much bigger. So... Last question, and then we're gonna then we're gonna go. So, what is something you want my viewers and the viewers and your friends to go away knowing about Mary? Um, <laughs> what do you want to know about Mary? I like long walks on the beach. I like tacos. I like no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, pretty much. I boy, I just um. I'm trying not to get too philosophical here. <laughs> you know, my life is all about uh, just connecting with people and helping others and bringing a bit of sunshine into everybody's day. And that's what I love most about reselling and about reselling jewelry because jewelry is like flowers. People get flowers and it makes them feel good. People get jewelry and it makes them feel good. And yes, I'm a zombie slayer. <laughs> I'm a zombie slayer and a dragon slayer and an Xboxer and a gamer. That's me. I am addicted to Converse Chuck All Stars. I wear them all the time. I am not kidding. I would have worn them under my mother in law's dress if I could have gotten away with it. <laughs> uh, hey, I have one. I have a question. Now I'm not. I'm not positive because I know so many people, but I'm pretty sure I've heard you say that you're an ordained minister, aren't you? I am. I am an ordained minister. And my plan is to start doing weddings. I want to specialize in same sex marriages and also uh, like interesting weddings like um, Star Trek weddings and Star Wars weddings. We had stormtroopers at our wedding. And so I, I kind of like that. You know, I want to do, you know, or if somebody just wants to come and, and just get married by a justice of the peace or get married by a minister, it's kind of a quick small ceremony that's kind of the thing i want to do so uh, i'm not sure what debbie means twd i don't know uh, what that means. The, the zombie slaying game i play is called um uh state of decay 2 and it's a lot like the walking dead okay okay see <laughs> i know nothing about video games <laughs> <laughs> hey bruno it went right Get over your head <laughs> my husband you know my husband before he got ill he was a minister and he still ministers to some too but uh in all the years we've been married 33 years in all those years he's he's been a minister ever since we got married he's only done two weddings no <laughs> he says this is his thinking he says when i do a wedding i have no guarantee they'll stay married but he says when i bury them they always stay buried <laughs> Well, yeah. we hope so. Well, that kind of brings us back to the zombie thing, but <laughs> back to the zombie thing, yeah. So, well, I okay, did, guys. The thing I did was uh, I I did the eulogy at my father's uh, memorial service and burial. So, I am I am experienced with one, 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 one funeral. funeral. So, so we're gonna say bye. Thanks everybody for coming over. Thank and, you, uh, yeah. Mary, for being here. And it was great getting to know Mary better. And next week, guys, April, uh, Bougie Bear is gonna be here. And if you, any of y'all want to be on, even uh, if you're not a jewelry seller, but you're a jewelry collector, email me at cnd11 at gmail.com or cnd11 at yahoo.bar. Calm. Both of them are my addresses and uh, we can make this happen. So, uh, so leave a thumbs up and be sure and go and subscribe to Mary there. She thrifts and I will be adding that link into the description and uh, also her Poshmark link too. So thanks yeah. everybody. I appreciate it. You Thank guys you. have a great Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>